Welcome back to another numbers edition of Apple a Day, continuing our series of date and time functions in Apple numbers. Today I'm covering the date value function and this is going to be a super short one. Date value is only ever used if you're saving your numbers spreadsheet for use in another application such as Excel. And the following quote is taken directly from the numbers documentation. This function is provided for compatibility with other spreadsheet apps. So basically all it does is take text and convert it to a date, but the text must already be in a valid date format. The funny thing is, if the text field is already a valid date, then you don't even need to use this since numbers can already tell that it's a date. Hence the documentation note that this is used for compatibility with other spreadsheet apps. But I am going to show it to you very quickly though. So I've got a blank document open. I'm just going to choose a cell, type in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor, and then I'm going to type in date value and press return. And as you can see, it takes in one parameter called date text. I'm just going to point that to an empty cell and press return. I've got an error because an empty cell is obviously an invalid date. I'll type in a date in that cell and see if it works. Uh, I'll do a text date, January 3rd, 2023. And look at that, it works. And as you can see, Numbers already recognizes this as a date, so making this function completely unnecessary. Now let's try again with different formats. So let's change it slightly. I'm going to type in a period after the January short form. And look at that, that does not work. If I select this cell, it also didn't change the data format to date. It's still on automatic and treated as text. Typing in a numeric date value without any delimiter between the month and day and year doesn't work either. I'll go year, month, day. It doesn't like that. If I click on it, it still thinks it's a number. But now let's try year, month, day with some slashes. That one works. And again, it knows it's a date. Now let's try month, day, year with hyphens. Hmm, so that didn't work. It thinks that's text. Let's change it to forward slashes and see what happens. Now that worked. So that's pretty much it. You don't get any magic date recognition functionality out of the date value function. It's actually useless using it within numbers. And once more, like the documentation says, it's used for compatibility with other apps. And unfortunately, I'm not even able to show you an example as to why you would need the date value function with another app like Excel. I don't even have Excel installed and I have no intention of ever using it. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm John Martins. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple a Day.